Greetings and salutations and Happy New Year. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a personal trainer, motivational speaker, and a modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, picture the old time strongmen, legends like the mighty Adam and Alexander Zass. They would perform real life feats of strength as part of a live show. I do a similar thing, but with a modern day twist. Some of the feats of strength that I've performed in front of a live audience include things like bending steel bars, breaking chains with my chest, twisting horseshoes, rolling up frying pans, driving nails through wooden boards by hand, and even holding back a high performance motorcycle while taking off at full throttle. Now, being a modern day performing strongman and the fact that there's not a whole lot of us around these days to answer people's questions, in an effort to grow my channel by giving you guys what you want, I started a YouTube series called Ask Eric Moss, where I would invite you to ask me a question by dropping it in the comments below. And when you do that, I try to get back to you with your very own custom video answering your question. So, this question comes from Javier Wilson Wupaint. And they said, bro, is it possible to still achieve those strength because I still train to be that strong and jacked at the same time? Thank you for asking that. <clears throat> the thing that I would ask you is, why not? Nothing has really changed in the physiology that I'm aware of from the time that Alexander Zass was commonplace, because this was also in, in asking a question on a video that I had posted about um, Alexander Zass's, Alexander Zass's recommendations for strength training. I mean, I guess nothing should have really changed physiologically speaking from the time that Alexander Zass was around, which was in the 1800s, early 1900s, and today's modern day times other than people's lifestyles. Yes, modern day conveniences have probably made us weaker, which is why more people need to train specifically to, uh, to have that strength. And we're, they were just, I guess, tougher back then. But in terms of whether or not it's possible, if it was possible then, theoretically, it should be possible now. The question is, have you ever attempted it? Um, when I'm brainstorming a feat, I'll ask myself first, is it possible and is it feasible for me? And then in terms of <clears throat> what it takes to pull it off, I'll look at the feet and I'll try to figure out what are going to be the requirements that are going to be demanded of my body in order to do that. Um, when it came to holding back a motorcycle, I thought about the potential forces that would be placed on my body. And I thought, what are the things that need to be strong? And I, I, I theorized that the motorcycle is going to have a tremendous surge attempting to open my hands. So I needed an exercise that would surge and attempt to open my hands, in which case I chose heavy, heavy, heavy swings for reps. And when I'm talking like heavy, uh, it's around 300 pounds on a plateau buster. So I figured if I'm swinging 300 pounds on a plateau buster, then I simply have to work up to that <clears throat> in order to do that. Now, as far as Alexander Zass's feats, the steel, I don't really know what the dimensions were on what he was, what it was that he was doing. Um, I had during the, the pandemic, I had posted a video of myself performing one of Alexander Zass's steel scrolls. I might have it here somewhere. I don't really know. No, I, I put it up there. I'll show, I, actually, I'll just see if I, let me flip this thing around. I guess I can't really flip it around, but I can. You see it up there. Let's see if I can point. 
this one. That was one of the Alexander Zass scrolls that I had done during the pandemic. When I read his book, I wasn't able to determine the length of the bar or the thickness of the steel. So I just kind of gave it my best guess as to what it probably was. And I attempted to do it. Now, one of the standpoints of my show, and this was something that was told to me by Slim the Hammerman Farman, the late great Slim the Hammerman Farman, who is the top student of the mighty Adam. And this was one of the key things that he told me. He told me, son, did you know that there is a power within you that is equal to every strength performer that's ever lived, including me? See, we all have this amazing power already within us. Within us all, um, or I should say, there's been numerous times throughout history when ordinary people are able to perform superhuman feats of strength when put into life and death situations. These are the stories that you hear of like mothers and old ladies and stuff like that picking cars up off of kids. Slim said, if those people are able to do that in that one moment that they need it, it's in that very same ability in all of us. The question then becomes, how do you bring it out? Um, so when you understand that the power is already there, the rest is progression, <clears throat> training, and a willingness to go there. So the question I have for you is, are you willing to work towards it? Are you willing to go into that special place mentally in order to pull off the feats of strength? So as for whether or not it's possible for you, that's entirely up to you. But anyways, I hope that answers your question. If anybody else has any questions for me, drop it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you with your very own custom video answering your question. But if you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more of this sort of thing or you want to see the chronicles from my various performances, subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you, if you think anybody should see this, please share it with them. This YouTube thing isn't rocket science. But in the meantime, please stay happy, healthy, and strong. Have a an amazingly strong 2024. Eric Moss, over and out.